Alshon Jeffrey went from a respectable receiver, pretty above average, maybe even top 10 from 2012 to 2015, and a respectable guy on the Eagles and a huge part of the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl run and even a very important piece to that 2018 team. And then certain things happen, I could say. And that's why we're going to be taking a deep dive of what exactly happened with the injuries, the downplay of the quarterback, the controversy in the locker room, how it all had a impact on Alshon Jeffrey's career. So if you want to start, Alshon Jeffrey was drafted 45th overall by the Chicago Bears. You know, out of South Carolina, he was a pretty respectable receiver um, throughout his entire career. Like I said, he was respectable in the NFL, respectable in college, or his collegiate career. That's why he was drafted in the second round. And in his rookie year, he played in 10 games, putting up 367 yards and three touchdowns on 24 receptions. Uh, but he did have a high amount of targets with 48. The following year, did not have a sophomore slump at all, really took a sophomore jump and had 89 catches for 1,421 yards with seven touchdowns, even making his first Pro Bowl nod. Back then, we thought that was the first of many to come. But in 2014, put up amazing numbers again, but just didn't make the Pro Bowl. Had 85 catches, 1,133 yards, and 10 touchdowns. But in 2015, only playing in nine games and having 807 yards and four touchdowns on 54 receptions. And then his last year in Chicago, only had two touchdowns on 821 yards on 52 receptions. And in 2015 and 16, both had 94 targets. But in 2015, only nine games played. In 2016, 12, game play, 12 games played. And injuries were full responsibility for that. And after signing a contract extension with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017, was their number one target. Had 120 targets, which led the team with 57 receptions, 789 yards, and nine touchdowns. Really started getting going when Nick Foles took over. And then during that playoff run, was the go-to guy. And then in 2018... Had another respectable year, putting up 65 catches, 843 yards, and six touchdowns. And in the 2018 division around, had that infamous drop. Ever since then, it kind of went downhill because the following year, only played in 10 games, racking up 43 catches on 73 targets, and having a decent or right around 500 yards or four touchdowns. And then in 2020, was in trade rumors. Even back at the 29, 2019 trade deadline, was involved in a lot of trade rumors, trade deadline rumors, and no one wanted them. Then during the offseason, there was rumors that he could be cut, uh, agree to a buyout, and then even more uh, like a, uh, I guess, in a way, possible or realistic was he would be traded for a late round pick. Only played in seven games this year. Once again, was at, was in rumors at the deadline, having six catches for 115 yards and a touchdown. Once again, Alshon Jeffrey is in trade rumors and releasing uh Rumors, if the Eagles decide to part ways, I don't think there's a team that wants to take on the contract. And I know the Eagles don't want to cut that, cut that contract and have to eat up that dead cap. Um, but like I keep referring to, Alshon Jeffrey was a respectable receiver. And even though I am not the biggest fan of Alshon Jeffrey, I really never liked him. I always thought he was a bit overrated by Eagles fans. See, Alshon Jeffrey was a very good receiver. The Eagles fans thought he was top tier, especially 2017-18. And then Eagles fans get mad currently when they can't get a fourth-round pick for him. Eagles fans are like, oh, Jeffrey's so good. We need to get more value for him. He just injured. Um, and that's where it comes to the play where Eagles fans are just delusional. But other than that, injuries ruined his career. He had a quick fall off after his first uh, three years in his career. Let me guy, Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.